This is the hip lift technique for lumbar articulation. What you're going to do is put your caught at hand on the ASIS of the opposite hip and your cephalat hand is going to be on the paraspinal muscles of the lumbar vertebra. And so you are going to lift the hip up while you provide a downward force with your right hand. And you're just going to work your way up the lumbar spine. And I was told by one of the professors that the difference between this technique and soft tissue using a similar motion is that soft tissue is working on the soft tissues, whereas this one is kind of focusing on the transverse processes and trying to rearticulate the vertebral levels of the spine. This video is going to demonstrate the fasciolata technique. So you are going to be standing on the opposite side of the leg that you're going to work on. You're going to bend the knee to 90 degrees with your top hand, you're going to hook the IT band and pull it towards you. At the same time, you're going to push the foot opposite. So you're gonna keep doing this kneading motion up and down the IT band until you feel a release. And then you're going to return the patient and then reassess. Indirect treatment for the iliolumbar ligament, also known as counter strain. So what you're going to do is find the find a tender point on the ligament, which is going to connect the iliac crest to the lumbar spine and um, the position treatment position for this is just pulling it outwards until you get a reduction in pain like your normal counter strain techniques hold it for 90 seconds return the patient to neutral and then reassess this video is going to demonstrate the ischial tuberosity spread technique so first you're going to have your patient bend both his legs put the knees together and have the feet fall out. And then you're going to come medial onto the ischial tuberosity. So you're going to find the ischial tuberosities. You're going to hook onto them from the medial side. You're going to push in a little anteriorly and laterally. And then you're going to have the patient cough. Go ahead and cough, <coughs> okay. Go ahead and cough again. <coughs> and then you keep doing that technique until you feel a release in the tissues. And then you can return them to neutral. This is going to demonstrate balancing of the innominates. So what you're going to do is assess each innominate around the transverse axis. So see if it wants to go anterior or posteriorly. Usually the innominates move in opposing directions. So if one's anteriorly, the other one will probably be posterior. And so you're going to position the innominates in the direction that they want to go. And then you're just going to hold it kind of like BLT until you feel a release. And once you feel the release, you're going to recheck the anomalies.